Hi everyone. My name is Richard Evans with Caliber Yacht Sales and today we're going to talk to you about a Hunter 41 aft cabin. Now there are a lot of hunters out there but this one is very very special and I'm going to share some of those things with you. But first of all I want to talk to you about some of the Hunter features like the plumb bow that gives you a, a much better uh, action in the water where it resists pitching. It also increases the length of the water line. Um, and it just gives you an overall better performance. There's a couple of other features that we'll talk about as we move aft, but also notice that there's no backstays. And having no backstays means that uh, you've got more room to move around on an uncluttered deck. Now this boat, uh, unlike some of the other hunters, has a mariner's package. And the mariner's package means that it's in, you'll have a much, much better opportunity to go cruising in increased comfort and reliability. For example, a uh, standard water tank, fresh water tank on, uh, the, on this particular model is 100 gallons. This one has two 100 gallon tanks, so that means that you can go for extra long cruises. In fact, they went with four people two weeks and did not run out of fresh water. So that's a really nice feature. The other thing that comes with the Mariner's package is an extra auxiliary fuel tank. Uh, that is a 63-liter fuel tank that uh, increases your cruising range probably by about 35-40%. And finally, uh, you have an upgraded engine uh, to 54 horsepower Yanmar, which is nice to have, uh, especially when you're in currents and wind. So those are some of the differentiators that you're going to see. But the big one, you wait till you get on board, because on board, this boat looks brand new. Come on aboard, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Notice the uh, double stanchion chairs on each side of the cockpit. And very, very cool and a fun place to sit when you're under sail. Now, have a look at this massive radar arch uh, that incorporates the bimini and the full enclosure around the cockpit and that canvas. Yikes, I mean, it looks brand new. Absolutely beautiful. You're going to enjoy this boat, you really are. So come on aboard with me and have a look at the livability of this cockpit and the beautiful, beautiful salon down below. Wow, this is a, an amazing space, isn't it? Just look around here. This is huge. You could probably fit eight people in here very comfortably. And notice the front glass. Front glass is about a year old. Very, very clear. Fully covered for winter, by the way, with winter canvas covers to protect it. And look at this. You've got a double table that uh, rises and uh, turns your cockpit into an outdoor dining area. Isn't that slick? It's beautiful, beautiful design and layout. Very convenient and ideal for cruising. And around here, well, we've got this binnacle that holds all your navigation equipment. Very nice to have a wind machine. Uh, to give you uh, wind speed and direction and autopilot is also very good and a Raymarine C80 uh, with a, which is your GPS chart plotter uh, which is uh, also nice to have in your RAM mic as well which is remoted to your VHF below and you've got your tridatas for other various measurements that you want to take folding wheel to help you get around the cockpit here uh, with Increased ease, and this I really like. This is your step through to your transom. So your transom actually opens up and becomes a step through to your swim grid. Back here on the swim grid, we've got uh, an AB dinghy uh, with uh, aluminum bottom. And while we're down here, you've got uh, two huge lockers, uh, propane, two 10-pound bottles on the uh, port side, and uh, a huge locker that goes all the way forward here so you can store your fishing rods and anything else that, uh, that you uh, might want to store down there that's very long. Here we've got this uh, outboard engine davit, which is great. No more wrestling with your outboard to get it onto the bracket. And uh, again, I just want to show you. This is amazing. And now your cockpit is complete and safe. And I love this. Look at this, will you? What a fun place to sit, eh? 
just to hang out here while you're under sail and it's just I could just hang out here all day <laughs> I just might Follow me, let's go down below and uh, you'll see just how well they've maintained this space as well. Wow, check this out, will you? This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I told you it was like a new boat inside, didn't I? This beautiful teak is just, it gives you that incredibly warm feeling that uh, you could just sit down here and relax and uh, you could be here for a very long time, whether you're cruising for a weekend or for a month. This would be a great space to spend your time in. Have a look at this high gloss table and this beautiful blue upholstery that perfectly accents the teak. I love it. And down below here, this teak and holly floor. And this sits right across, right across from this space here. You could put eight, ten people in here very comfortably. And notice down below here, this amazing storage, a huge drawer that you could store blankets or sheets or extra pillows or whatever you want. Over here, of course, we've got a, a DVD player and a, a, a Bose sound system with a TV, an LED TV. Beautiful, eh? Have a look at this nav station. Um, this nav station is huge. Down below here, underneath the, uh, helm, uh, the nav station seat, you've got uh, your main switches for the boat. And here are your AC and DC panels, BHF radio, and your uh, Magnum battery monitor right here. Very, very cool. I've got to point out as well that, uh, as we talked about before, uh, this boat has uh, radar and integrated AIS some nice features to have especially when you're cruising long distances notice this as well all these handholds everywhere that you go in the uh, salon and galley space really handy and uh, and safe now the galley is one of the things that really makes this boat it's beautiful and highly highly functional first of all here we've got a backsplash to protect uh, uh, stuff that you have here on the countertop corian countertop by the way uh, from uh, splashing over onto that rich upholstery. We got uh, double stainless steel sinks with uh, a retractable vegetable washer. And I really like this. Down below here is that when you're cleaning the counter, you can sweep all your debris and your crumbs and stuff right into the waste bin down below. And when the waste bin is full, you just pull it out and empty. Isn't that clever? Uh, here we got a three burner stove with oven, propane. And one of the special things about this is really cool, a separate fridge and freezer. Separate fridge and freezer, each with their own compressor. Your fridge is here. So down below here, where it should be, is your wine cellar. Coldest part of the boat, down near the keel. Keep your wine nice and cold and easy to get to. Remember, we talked about being able to go on an extended cruises, and this really makes a difference. Fiddles with finger grooves all around the countertop. Very, very handy to have, not only for safety, but also to keep stuff on the counter when you're in a seaway. We've got a microwave right here. Storage right here. Look at this cool little dish dryer. Isn't that, isn't that clever? A little blower in there that uh, blows warm air uh, into this space and so you don't have to dry them by hand put them in there it drains out into your bilge and let the blower dry your dishes for you clever i like it and of course once the dishes are dry they're put away voila isn't that great i like that idea and here look at this isn't that clever you got a full pantry with adjustable shelves. You could imagine how much food you could store on a trip in this pantry here, isn't that? 
I'm so impressed with how they've designed this galley space and uh, any cook would be very, very proud to work in this space and feel very comfortable in moving around. Also very safe. You're fully enclosed here, fully protected, grab holds everywhere. Maybe I'll buy the boat. <laughs> Easy access to the engine. The engine's under this uh, companionway here. Access on this side, also on the other side as well. So let's have a look in the master cabin. If you thought the VIP cabin was nice, you're going to love this space. Full queen size bed, opening hatches, bookcases on each side, and uh, port lights, two port lights actually that open for great ventilation. A vanity, look at this, isn't that nice? This vanity right here with vanity lights uh, just above it there. Lots of storage for long distance cruising, which is how this boat has been set up right from the beginning. So moving forward, uh, we have your day head and master head. That is a private entrance for, uh, from the master cabin and salon entrance for use as a day head. And in here, you've got a sink, a marine toilet, a mirror, and is this separate standalone shower to keep all the water where it belongs. And just look at all this natural light just pouring into the space. I mean, are you getting this? This is beautiful. And look how it just sort of accentuates all this beautiful teak down here. And ah, you're going to like this. And before we go into heads and beds, I want you to know that this uh, a table drops down and becomes a double queen. And cushions are included in this as well. So you've got a lot of space for entertaining, uh, for, again, like I say, for weekends or for up to a month or even more if you want to cruise. Down below here, uh, we've got a guest cabin. It's, uh, they're really going to enjoy being aboard this boat. Very, very comfortable mattress, loads of storage, a bank of four drawers underneath this bed, uh, bookshelf just here along the bulkhead and uh, headliner that is just beautiful. Again, looks like new. Uh, they've just done an amazing job at maintaining this vessel. And just across from that, they've got uh, a double hang-up locker, uh, lots of light, a sink outside of the head, which is a really smart idea so that uh, you can use the sink without having to interrupt whoever's in the head. And the head has a shower with a wraparound curtain to uh, keep the water all contained where it belongs. Down below here, right under, this, uh, under my feet, uh, we've got uh, access to uh, your sensors for uh, speed and depth and uh, also your through hulls for your uh, holding tanks. L serious comfort in this space. There's no way that I'm able to convey in words just how wonderful this space feels. You really need to come down and feel it for yourself. Two people have sailed this boat all the way to Alaska and back very comfortably and part of the thing that helps them do that is that all the lines lead to the cockpit so you could single handle this boat as well. So when you're up in Alaska there might be some cold evenings or even cold days and uh, this vessel has not only one but two ways of heating the cabin. A bus heater that uh, will heat the cabin off the engine as well as an S-bar heater uh, that's a diesel fired furnace. This vessel is incredibly easy to sail with its fractional rig and ease of tacking. And oh my goodness, the, uh, we're in 17 knots of wind, we're doing six and a half knots. Just brilliant, just brilliant. It's so much fun to sail this and so easy to do so. there you have it folks, just a remarkable vessel that's been upgraded in many ways to take you on extended cruising adventures up and down the coast. She's a really good performer, she's so comfortable below, perfect layout for long distance cruising. This boat is in absolutely amazing condition. Give us a call, you'll be glad you did.